Welcome everybody. So this is the start of the songwriting course. This is the course that um, in our pillar of, of content that I've got here in the uh, School of Music is probably the last one that I was wanting to, to tackle. I wanna make sure you guys have a lot of foundational stuff done uh, before we jump into songwriting. Now, um, when it comes to songwriting, it is like you would look at songwriting as like, oh my God, only like these amazing humans that have mastered some form of like, they've been gifted by God, this amazing talent to communicate through song, melody, lyric. Um, only like certain people can have it. Uh, that's not the case. So pretty much when it comes to songwriting, you can learn everything. Um, the one thing that you can't really learn is um, uh, context in life. Uh, so experiencing life, being able to create you know, the, the bed of, of, um, of, of inspiration that comes from like heartbreak and things like that. It becomes really, really hard to sing about heartbreak if you haven't had your heart broken. Um, like there's a lot of like really core things that you kind of just have to feel, um, which, you know, the reason why these things are connecting with many people is because many people feel many things and that's what you will learn how to do. But the thing that you, need to look at songwriting, especially when you're just jumping into songwriting. I'm going to be quoting John Mayer here because um, basically the skill of, of songwriting itself is just coming from two things. You're connecting information and then you're connecting inspiration. And once you connect those two things, um, that's how you're going to start coming up with great songs. Um, you can't have a... A, a, like a big feeling come through and then just YOLO it. Um, like very, very rarely does something good happen from there. Um, and also you can't be someone who knows all the tricks and if you can't feel something, um, then you're kind of stuck <laughs> again. So it is, it is the two things. Um, it's marrying those two things. Basically, you're just connecting your life with music. Um, and so... It is a bit more of an advanced thing. There's obviously beginners. Like there's no, the bar to write a song is, it's like there is no bar. You just get in there. It's subjective. The only bar that exists with songwriting, like where it will gauge is how many people do you connect with? Now, the skill of a songwriter um, is typically measured by how many people connect with the music. A popular song, a hit song is obviously written by, like can be written by multiple songwriters or it's just written by a song, uh, songwriting crew or a songwriter who is very, very skilled. And they have learned how to marry those two at a very high level. Um, and that's a song that will hit and that's what will hit many people and inspire people and make them feel a lot of things. But as a beginner, you can definitely just begin writing and you can begin exploring it and you can begin testing out what it takes to get a song out there, how to make a song feel coherent how to make a song flow. Um, and so those things can be done very, very early in your musical journey. But just before we really get into this whole course, because the, the, the way we're going to be doing this course is um, I, I don't know any other way to like cheat sheet it. Like guitar, I feel like I have enough experience on the guitar that I can, um, like I just do have enough context that like you can shortcut quite a lot of things. Same thing with the singing and playing guitar and things like that. But when it comes to songwriting, um, I haven't found a, a way to do it that's going to cut corners because there's infinite corners that you would have to cut. There's just infinite options. There's so many ways you could write a song, um, so many inspirations, things like that. But the one constant that I feel determines whether or not you will be a good writer or not is how many songs can you write? Um, every time you write a song, uh, you need to, you're going to be working the muscle of songwriting. You're going to be working the muscle of creating from nothing because that's essentially what you're doing as a songwriter. You're like, you're just taking a feeling, an idea or something, and you're just synthesizing it into bam, something, which is like, it's honestly a, a superpower. Um, and that's why when someone can do it really well, it like, it changes lives for people. Um, uh, whether it's the artist being super su successful or uh, influencing other people and making their days better and things like that. Um, you know, that is is really what songwriting is all about. So there's only one way I know how to get good at songwriting. 
is just to write a lot of songs, just so many bad songs, just like crank them out. Uh, for me, my goal is to write a hit song. So you're going to be pretty much seeing the whole documented process of me doing this. Uh, um, I've got 999 songs to go. I, I, I gave myself, I was like, if I don't write a good song within a thousand songs, then I should just reassess what my goal is and then have a really figure it out again. But it's just writing a lot and a lot, a lot of bad songs. And that's what it's all about. Now, um, what's going to help you out with that is I have two courses that are going to be very, very useful if you're just getting into um, songwriting and doing that kind of stuff. Uh, the Practical Music Theory course, which I've recorded, um, it, it will continue to get more and more modules and more and more information in there, but already with the foundation that it has, teaching you about diatonic chords, understanding how the chord relationships work with each other, why they exist the way they do, um, is going to be a huge uh, leg up when it comes to writing songs, especially in the harmonic element. And then singing and playing guitar um, or playing an instrument, um, that course is fantastic because you don't need to be a good singer and you don't need to be a good guitarist. But when it comes to writing songs, it's really, really handy if you can just like work the idea immediately. Um, and so that is a really uh, invaluable skill that you will want to have uh, when you're going to songwriting. You can write however you want. Don't, don't feel bad at all. Like you can just record the chords. Um, you can get someone to play the guitar for you. Well, there's so many infinite ways to approach this. But those two courses that we have available in our school um, will definitely, definitely give you a, um, a very strong starting point that will benefit any, like all of your songwriting. Uh, now, basically what we're going to be doing in the course uh, is analyzing songs. Um, we're going to just take songs that are good. Um, so you can request them and let me know which ones you would, would want to learn. Um, and we will take those songs and I will be breaking them down. At first, they're going to be broken down quite simply. We're not going to go into super big detail um, because I don't want to overwhelm you guys right away because um, there's an infinite amount of analysis that we can go into um, and there's always going to be like minor things that like going to all change. But basically, we're going to go in, listen to songs. Um, I will break down the songs for you. I will show you like... Basically, there's kind of three things that we're going to be focusing on. One is going to be the harmony. So like how are they applying the chords? How are the chord relationships working within the song? How can you extract them and apply it yourself? Um, and why are they working in the way that they're working with the other two elements, which is the, the second being melodic movements like what's the melody doing how are they structuring the melody where are they placing the melody what's the rhythm of the melody things like all those kinds of things that are happening um and then thirdly the lyrics like how are they manipulating lyrics how are they using number of lines how are they using rhyme schemes how are they using the flow of words within the song you know because there is a natural tempo that happens through words um they have like they lean towards certain things so those are kind of like the three things that we will be focusing on. The fourth one, um, which is is very important in songwriting, but it is more like a post-song kind of thing. We will be hearing it in the recordings, but um, not something that we want to be zoning into right away is production. Um, production is obviously a huge asset when it comes to a song. Uh, and, it, and in some cases, like production can actually like amplify a, a good song and make it great. You know, and then sometimes it like can hurt a song, but it is just like another layer of knowledge that we can add. But it's not something that I really want to be covering because production has a lot of um, pieces to it that I don't feel like are very much applicable to our community. And they'd be more applicable to others and um, in, in other communities or, or something like that. So that's pretty much how we're going to be going into this. We're going to be writing the song. Uh, getting the songs analyzed. And then um, if you guys want to jump in and, and write a song using those tools. So we're just going to be extracting as many tools as possible. Then get you guys to, you can just take that and be like, all right, I'm going to apply X mindset towards this song and see how it goes. So looking forward to this brand new course. And uh, I really can't wait to see your feedback. And I want to see all these songs that everyone's been writing. So very, very much looking forward to it. So I'll see you guys in the next module. Let's go.